Jason Arthur Taylor here. When people ask what I do and I say I help create new technologies, a lot of people just assume that, oh, so you're in computers. But believe it or not, there's a lot more to technology than just computers. One interesting technology is called non-destructive engineering. And it's the art of making something last. And so on that note, uh, I'm actually using a technology that with proper maintenance has been able to last for a long time and I'm sort of proud of it. It's a weird thing to be proud of. But on that note, I'll turn this around. It's still recording correctly. Uh, you'll see that this is at the 200,000 mile mark. So in one minute, assuming I drive 60 miles an hour, uh, by the way, I'm on a, one of my favorite routes is much people complain about Washington DC's metro system is the GW Parkway. It's the best way to get in and out of DC, I have to say. Very scenic, peaceful, not that much traffic either. And of course, there's no single tracking. We have double tracking here, another technology roads. Anyway, uh, managed to get this thing up to 200,000 miles. Uh, you have to sort of care about technology, care about machines, care about them. If you love machinery you can make it last and so in about 10 seconds this is going to hit 200,000 miles and 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 200,000 miles all right yes so when you think I'm doing computers, you know, there's a lot more out there. It's a life than computers. Technology is actually not so much computers. People say software is the future. It's going to take over the world. There's some truth to that, but don't forget, there's, there's hardware that needs to be there to, for the software to do anything. And you think 3D printing is going to be creating a software controlled world. It's not really true, in my opinion. Uh, there's so much more out there, and a 3D printer can't really make a screw by itself. You have to use something else that will put in the, the grooves. So, anyway, this is Jason Arthur Taylor uh, celebrating the 200,000 miles on my car. A wonderful piece of American made technology that I'm very proud to own.